let's discuss uh, this last uh, subtopic of unit one this is more about word problems and using regression models uh, with TID for active uh, all right let's do this uh, first question so uh, this one says that uh, Justin Tucker the kicker of the Baltimore Ravens da, 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 and this uh, talks about the recent kickoffs or the height of the ball right they're talking about the height of the ball in meters measured and selected times so we can see that obviously the time is increasing and initially the height is increasing from 1.4 this this 9.6 and then it is you know uh, coming down so that's how it is based on the situation and the data represented with a linear quad or cubic model be appropriate given region I think it should be quadratic it makes perfect sense because uh, you, do, you know uh, when a ball is kicked obviously it follows um, a path like this right which is a quadratic if we think about it this is a parabola which should max out at some level and it looks like it is maxed out here and then decreasing in either direction so a quadratic model seems the most appropriate choice so i'm gonna say that this is quadratic all right all right so i'm gonna go and start and i'm gonna go and edit click on enter here i'm gonna type in the number so that's uh, 0 0.1 uh, enter uh, 0 0.5 enter uh, 0 0.9 1.5 1.9 all right so after that we click on um, start again all right so once we click on start again we uh, go to the uh, we press the right key so we go in the calc option and then we go down into the quadratic uh, uh, regression over here this is a quad sorry seven is five is quadratic so quadratic regression we click on enter we don't really change anything because l1 and l2 are already our x and y list and we click on calculate so this is our regression model okay so uh, the regression model over here is uh, y is equal to negative 4.9148 x square plus 13.7139 x and then uh, plus 0.0696 uh, and we have to use this model to predict the height at t equal to 1.3 so all we need to do is plug in the x as 1.3 because after all x is nothing but the time right after all so we just replace x with 1.3 and if we use our calculator we are going to get the y value or the height as 9.591 uh, about one or maybe two meters that is meters right yeah meters so that is our answer for this question okay the price of the amazon stock fluctuates over time and uh, 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 the one stock one share of Amazon stock was at $87.58 on December 6, 2019. And then uh, uh, selected times of the number of months after this, and they have given the value of the stock after, you know, one month, 13.5 months, etc. Again, based on the data presented, would the linear, quadratic, or cubic be most appropriate? So I think the same, uh, same logic follows here because it starts off at 87 then 124 164 185 that's where it sort of hits a peak and then it starts going down 152 122 90 it definitely cannot be linear of course you agree with me uh, and it has to be it has to be quadratic although i'm not ruling out that it cannot be cubic could be cubic as well because cubic could also look like this right this so this poor maybe this is the portion that this uh, that this data is representing but since they are only asking us to consider uh, the data presented in the table so as of now we don't know whether it is actually again taking a turn and going up or not because that is that information is not given to us so based on the information i would still go with the quadratic model uh, the first number is zero we type in enter so once we type in everything it's going to look like this when we click on stat and then we go right in the calculator uh, and in the option 5 quadratic regression we click on enter uh, we go on calculate click on enter again and this is our model all right so the quadratic model here comes out as y is equal to let me write it over here y is equal to negative 0 0.3509 x square plus 
5x plus 46.3980 and we need to find we need to use this model to predict the share uh, the share price when t is 16 so all we need to do is replace x with 16 over here so if we do that uh, our answer comes out as when we replace x with 16 and type this into our calculator the value of y is uh, or the price let's call it a t or just a is dollars 170 172.445 dollars okay 172.45 dollars that is the answer to question two all right the federal funds uh, rate is the targeted interest rate that commercial blanks commercial banks use when lending or borrowing money um, for each other and uh, there is a long story given in the end they are saying that the table above gives the federal federal funds rate so this is the rn percentage for the selected time t where t is the number of years after 2018 so this corresponds to 2018 okay thankfully they are asking us to use a cubic regression model and write the equation so let's do that um, type in zero enter and then just type in all the other numbers right uh, after typing in we click on stat uh, calculator this is a cubic regression so you go on six press on enter go on calculate press enter again and this is our model all right so the equation is coming as uh, uh, y is equal to 0 0.2937 x cube minus 1.8995 x square plus 2.7594 x plus 1.4677 uh, based on this model what is the predicted rate uh, at t equal to 8 so i think you know the drill all you need to do is just replace the x everywhere with t and type that into the calculator uh, okay so this is a massive number this is coming as 52.35 percentage okay uh, the highest uh, federal fund rate in u.s history was 20 percent in 1980 all right so if the highest is 20 percent in 1980 which is of course about what uh 20 30 38 years before 2018 but this is like 52.35 so don't you think it's just like a massive difference it doesn't feel like this model is an appropriate model to uh, uh to cover because uh um uh, this this rate is already very very high compared to what has been the highest in the history which is 20 percent there's like 32 percent increase so my answer will be no this is not an appropriate model all right uh the function n represents the total natural gas consumption in us and quadrillions of btus da -da, and t is the number of years measured since 1960 okay again they are asking us to graph a quadrat uh, sorry a cubic model so that's nice for us let's do that right this question is also a cubic regression so uh, let's type in the numbers the first one is zero uh, then we have 10 right once we do that this is how it looks we click on stat again uh, calculator this is a cubic right yeah this is a cubic so we go in the cubic enter calculate and enter again this is the model okay so we are getting the model as y is equal to 0 0.00156 x cube minus 0 0.0978 x square plus 1.7617 x and then plus 12.4012 12 based on the model what is the predicted consumption at t equal to 7 all we have to do is just replace x with 7 so let's do that right so this number is coming as 20.47 uh, well 60 4760 uh, and the units is of course quadrillion quadrillions of btu okay in 1988 only 24% of primary care doctors in uk were women uh, since that time the percentage of female primary doctor has a consistently been increasing and uh, the table gives the f the percentage of the primary care doctors that were women uh, in a given year where t equal to zero represents the year 1988 so 
okay this is x basically this is y for us they're asking us to plot a linear regression and uh, explain okay first of they're asking why reg linear regression is appropriate well because uh, it looks like the x is increasing by about the same value first off so this is a four increase this is a three increase this is a four this is a three this is a six this is a four again this is a five this is a three so you know around that amount. i'm not saying exactly because after all this is a regression regression is approximation but around that number that is increased and likewise let's see the change of y so this is a five unit increase this is a 2.5 unit increase this is about what 5.5 unit increase this is a six unit increase this is a five unit increase this is a three unit so you know, ar around that number as well uh, it's continuously increasing for the y value so this is the nature of linear uh, function right it's not a quadratic because quadratic will look like you know going down and up or up and down and cubic is like up down up kind of it doesn't make sense so linear is actually a better model for this so let's do that All right let's type in uh, this data here so uh, the first number is i think zero so zero and then four All right so go and start uh calc this is a linear regression right so go on option four enter calculate and it's ready to go okay so we are getting the linear model as y is equal to 0 0.8995x plus 26.8770. Using the model, what is the predicted percentage of, and I'll just 40 equal to 33. So let's replace x with 33 here and find that. So that is coming as 56.56 percentage. In 2021, the women accounted for 55%. What is the residual value? So first, let's find the T value at 2021, which is, of course, 33. And we already have the value, uh, which is 56.56. Um, and the residual is given by residual is given by the actual value, actual value minus the predicted value. The actual values, of course, given to us as 55. So that would be 55 minus 56.56. Uh, so that's going to be uh, the number will come out as what minus, right? Negative, uh, negative um, 1.56%. So negative 1.56, it is the, this is the residual value of this um, 